Hello world, welcome to the 229th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the seventh video in my financial genome project playlist. What is the financial genome project you ask? Well, it's just a personal project I'm doing where I hope to map out the I guess the financial genome or economics of things in my life using programming like Python. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to start with where I live in North Louisiana. So in this video, I'm going to explore uh, pulling the property price from an Excel sheet that I have and then plotting it on a map. And I, and I guess my future goal is if I'm just driving around my city uh, and I'm using my digital assistant named Shane, I can just look up uh, uh, a house or if somebody says something, I can just pull up the house on a map and find out exactly where it's at. So that's kind of the vision, maybe eventually to like a augmented reality plot. But for now, very simple, one property, display it on a map. And so we're going to be using Folium and Google Maps, as well as Pandas to interact with an Excel file. And so I built this Excel file as a test. So right now we have just one column that says address and it has a uh, quick address on there. And then the price that I got from Zillow myself. But if you're interested in interacting with the Zillow API, you can watch my video on how to pull prices by clicking here. And then so that's it for the Excel sheet. And so when we go to the code, I'm going to run this for a second. So we're going to run maps. Oh, let me close the Excel and run it again. So we're going to run maps and it just quickly exited. And what it did was save a HTML file called maps. So let's go to that or map. Okay, so now that we're in this map.html, we can just right click on it, open in, open in a browser, and let's go Chrome. And here it is. This is the plot of the map. We can zoom out. It's in HTML. So this is using Google Maps right now. And then we can zoom in and when I click on it, it's going to give me the price that was in Excel. Now I could have made it where I hovered over it and it said that, but I just did a click so we can see how that works. So that is the code. That is the HTML file. It just opened up on my local host. So let's go into the code real quick. And so uh, don't copy this part, right? So just pause and listen to me on this um, from keys import Google Maps key since I'm a youtuber I can't show you my I API key because what people do is copy your API key and then they run up the free plans that you get so in a second I'll show you how to get your own Google Maps key and then you will need to so don't copy this but go ahead and pip install Folium, Google Maps, Open, PY, Excel. That's how we interface with Excel and Pandas. Uh, you can do that by doing them individually if you're in PyCharm by going to Settings, Python Interpreter, pressing the plus, and then look for each one. So Folium is right there, and then Install Package. And then once it says it's installed successfully, you can go to Google Maps, install this one, and so on. Then we're going to import Folium, import Google Maps, and then import Pandas as PD. So first we're going to interact with Excel. So the file path is going to be the file that you have your Excel sheet. So you can go to your address list or address, whatever you want to call it. You can go to properties. You can copy and paste this 
into here. Just know when you copy and paste, you'll have to reverse these backslashes here. The sheet name, if you have multiple sheets, go ahead and define it, but we're just gonna do sheet one. And then we're gonna do a data frame. So DF equals pandas, so pd.readexcel. You're gonna pass it the file path. And then if you gave it a sheet name, you pass it the sheet name. Then we're gonna manually define the address you're looking for. So the search address is 826 Entrada. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that my eventual goal is to use speech recognition. So I can say, Shane, look up 826 Entrada, and then it will look it up for me. But for now, let's just pass it manually. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to look in Excel and it's going to, so the result equals data frame dot location. And in the data frame, it's going to look for address and it's going to search for the search address. And then it's going to return the price. So that's what this is right here. And so assuming that the result is not empty. So if this was a different address, it would just um, say this address was not found in the file. So if the result is not empty, so if not result.empty, the price equals result.values0. So that's the zero if or the first item, which is the price. And then I want it to be in a currency format. So you're just gonna do uh, this formatted string right here. So this is saying that we want a percentage or a dollar sign, a percentage, and then um, I want zero um zero numbers after the decimal point and then we're going to change this to a float because right now this is just a string and that returns the price that we saw in the file so next what we're going to do is we're going to initialize the google maps client with your api key so you will need to get your own api key you can go to google maps developers you could just google that and get to the same place so Google Maps Cloud Developer and then you can click here and it takes you here for you you can press get started and see how mine is already done you will have to complete your own profile this one is really easy I think it's like four questions is really easy then you'll get your API key and once you do you're gonna take that API key and we're gonna put it here. So gmaps equals Google Maps dot client key equals, and you can replace this, which I told you to ignore at the top, with your API key. So like this, and then go uh, your API key. All right, so just wanna clarify, do not pass this variable in there. You'll need to just copy and paste your own API key as a string. Then the address you want to geocode, so address equals search address, which was what we defined up here, plus I added my city here. Uh, eventually I want to get that to update automatically by kind of figuring out what I'm talking about. So I need to update my Excel sheet. So on my address test, I'll have the city and the zip code, but for now, I just passed it manually into PyCharm like this. So basically this is one long string now with a comma separating Bozier City. And then geocode result equals gmaps.gcode the address. So you're passing the physical address of the property you're looking at. And then we're going to extract the latitude and longitude. So lat equals the geocode result because the result is large. We want the zero width index. So the first index of this JSON that it returns. And then we want geometry, location, latitude. And then for longitude, same thing. It's in the same location except instead of latitude or LAT, we want the longitude. Now we're going to plot that in Folium. So if you didn't want to do any of this and you just Google your address, you can just pass the latitude and longitude as strings as numbers here. 
So if you wanted to do that, you can just like pretend like we comment all of this out like that. Then you can just pass the latitude and longitude manually here or create your own variables. And you could do that just by Googling any address and saying latitude and longitude. So then we're going to create a map centered around a specific location. So M equals folium dot map location equals passing it the la latitude and longitude that we get from Google Maps. Zoom start 25 and you can play with this if you want it to zoom far out or zoom really close in you can mess with this zoom start and then you can add a marker for the location so oh, that little blue marker that you saw uh, the folium dot marker equals parentheses don't worry about this location that's the um, updated PyCharm so if you've downloaded PyCharm recently so you just after this right here this parenthesis go straight into square bracket and do latitude and longitude here then comma pop-up equals formatted price and so like we talked about that is the formatted price of the um, price from the Excel and then you're going to close parentheses dot add to M which is the map and then you're going to save map as an HTML file. So m.save equals map.html. Now, since I don't have a directory like this, that map is going to save directly into this directory here. So when you search for it, search for whatever project you named it. So is my Excel sheet closed? Yep. So now we're going to run maps. So it just went to my Excel, got the price. Then it went to Google, got the latitude and longitude, and then it placed that latitude and longitude into Folium into the map. And then it saved it as this HTML here. So in PyCharm, this is what I was looking for earlier. It gives you these browser options already. If not, I showed you in the beginning on how to do it. So let's just click on Chrome this time. And this is the final result. When you click on it, it gives you that formatted price. That's what this is right here. Pop up equals formatted price. So when I click on it, it pops up the price. And then Folium comes with the zoomed out map. I don't know how far you can zoom out on it. I hope. See, that's pretty sweet, right? And then you can just uh, use your mouse wheel to zoom in. All right, so that's a lot of information. That's kind of three libraries in one, but I hope you found it useful. And uh, please subscribe if you want to continue watching me build my financial genome project or my digital assistant. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.